while Chicago battles to win the 2016 Olympic Games, another lesser-known contest is brewing. Scientists at West Suburban Fermi Lab are working around the clock to beat their competition to a scientific breakthrough that could change the way we see our universe. NBC5's Rob Elgis has the story. This would be a huge find. A puzzle piece that would unlock a universe of secrets. It's going to mean a, a Nobel Prize for somebody. In the U.S., that hunt is centered at Batavia's Fermi Lab. Hundreds of physicists are looking for something called the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is, is the one remaining piece of a very successful model we have uh, of, of how the particles and forces interact in this world. Mary, nine five. And the hunt is global. If it's there, we don't want to miss it. We want to we wanna get it first. PWD, I know where I be. Gonna CD to the place for me. It's time to LS the situation. I think I need to grep for their intention. Don't like the standard IO, RM minus R star, yo. yo. Yeah. R minus RF star. These are, these are all like commands on the Linux system. So it's, uh, it's really hilarious. Yeah, it's really funny for so many people. Recent data is encouraging. Fermi scientists think they are closing in on the Higgs. We're getting closer and closer, and we could be there in a, in a few years. We could find it. Do you secretly wish you could be a rock star? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, secretly, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would probably, yeah. Uh, that's what I, when I, in fact, when I graduated high school, that was one of the one of the things they, they said about me that they, they thought I ended up being a rock star. But um, but I, you know I went into science, completely different ball game. The atom a particle so infinitely small that it takes over a hundred billion billion atoms to make up the head of a pin. Although no one has ever seen an atom, scientists have learned a great deal about how they behave as scientists devised ever more powerful particle accelerators, commonly called atom smashers, to transmute more and more kinds of atoms. Yeah, well, there's two things. One is the science is changing, and in my field, it's changing radically, and that's what it's, that's part of it. But that doesn't change, I think, what you're getting at was the being, the being of a scientist. Has that changed much? And in many ways, I think the, the, the big change was pre-World War II and post-World War II. That was a big change, because pre-World War II, to be a scientist was a very unusual thing. You know, you had to think about it very carefully. And I was in college during the Great Depression. And that made things a lot easier because we would talk to each other and kid around and say, well, what are you going to be unemployed in when you graduate? And, oh, well, I'm going to be employed in chemistry. Ah, I'm going to be unemployed in American history. It's more fun, you know. So it, nobody worried about uh, economic security because there wasn't any. <laughs> nobody got jobs. While we were in college, the war started, and then, of course, our big occupation was surviving the war and participating or whatever it was you did. Then after the war, you know, the, the value of science became uh, almost a, an explosive. Today, our men of science are broadening all our mental avenues with new activities 
activities based on modern pioneering into new fields of research. Men exploring and pioneering for all to follow. Men endlessly seeking something new along the roads of civilization in the great unknown expanses of applied science and scientific research. Not only that, the GI Bill sent millions of Americans who never dream of going to college to, to universities. And that had a big effect on the economics of the country. That's what made U.S., I think, plus the immigration, the combination of the immigration, the realization that education and science were an important part of the future of the nation, uh, made, made science uh, quite, a, quite a big deal.